Scene one, Apple take two. Hey there, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here with a special announcement. Over these next couple of days, you're going to be hearing from someone who is no stranger to this locker room. Matt Diolis is going to rock this locker room for the next three days with a series of messages that I know every one of you and myself are going to get very fired up about. So, Matt, let's kick some butt, make it a great day. We'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye-bye. Hey there, gang. Welcome to the locker room. Matty D here. Uh, in today's message, the Royal Humble. Not the, not the Royal Rumble, the Royal Humble. You know, over the last five years, I've had the chance to meet so many uh, great leaders in business. And, and some of them I've put in a humble category, and some of them maybe not so much. You know, one trait that I remember that always stood out to me uh, coming up in business and still to this day is that, and, and something that I admired and was attracted to were people that were able to experience financial success uh, and remain humble throughout the whole process. People like Simon Arias and Eric Giglion, who you see on this locker room day in and out. You know, plenty of financial success. However, when you meet them, you will, you'll see that they'll speak to a busboy at the restaurant with the same level of respect they would uh, a CEO of a company. You know, have you ever been around someone or maybe witnessed an individual talking down to, to someone, maybe a waiter or somebody in a service industry or degrading someone? Picture that feeling that it gives you, almost to the point where you, you're curling your toes in discomfort. Arrogance is confidence is ugly cousin, guys and girls. You will always get a much better result and win the majority over when you speak with humility and treat others with respect. Some tips, how do you remain humble? How do I remain humble? Some tips, recognize, one, recognize that you have faults and admit them when you make mistakes. Own it. You know, make your best ability self-accountability and own it whenever you make a mistake. People respect it. Avoid bragging. A dear friend of mine I once heard say, when you're a home run hitter, you don't have to tell everyone you're a home run hitter. Think about that. Uh, don't take all the credit. Give to others. Don't take all the credit. Give it to others. The biggest thing that I, that I can say I owe any success to are, are the influences around me, not me. You know, my family, my mentors, my, my coworkers, my, my friends. Uh, compliment others. Giving compliments when deserved lifts people's spirits. You will become a lifter, not a leaner, by complimenting others. Listen more than you talk. Listen more than you talk. I know, I know this one could be hard sometimes. Uh, I know this one could be hard. But try it. Try it. Make a conscious effort to try it. Help others. Help others. A big part of being humble is respecting uh, and helping others. You know, we only get a short period of time in the grand scheme of things on this earth. So we got to use it to to do as much good as we possibly can. At the end of the day, it's not how much money someone makes or the position that they have that defines a man or a woman. It's their day-to-day -day actions that define them. And it's the words they use towards others that define them. It's the way they treat themselves and others that define them. I encourage you to treat others and speak to others in a way that you'd want someone speaking to your mother or your brother or your daughter or your wife or your husband. Remember gang, what goes around comes right back around. So when you stay humble and continue to lift others around you, chances are it will come back around full force for you and somebody will do the same thing for you, lift you up. To sum it up gang, put yourself in the royal humble every day and you too will be living your very best life. Thanks. If you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?